ask yourself a very serious question, and that is this. What kind of Christian am I really? Today, I'm gonna to give you four different types of Christians, and I want you to assess which one best describes you. That is coming up today. Hey everyone, my name is Alan Parr. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Beat. If this is your first time here on this channel, we answer frequently asked questions about the Christian faith. We talk about dating and relationships from a Christian perspective, and we do all sorts of other Bible-based videos as well. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So today, once again, I want to challenge you to ask yourself a question. What type of Christian am I really? And in order to answer this, I want to take you to a very familiar passage of scripture, Matthew chapter 13, where Jesus describes these four types of people, four types of Christians, or at best, four different types of ways that we respond to the Word of God when the Word is presented to us. And I want to challenge you to ask yourself which one best describes you. Looking here in verse 3, it says, And he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell beside the road, and the birds came and ate them up. So I want you to imagine this for just a a second, right? The sower goes out and he's throwing these seeds all over the place. He really has no control exactly where they land. And so some of the seeds land on the side of the road. And as we know, there is no root there. There is no soil there. It's just hard, right? And so the first type of Christian is what I'm calling the stagnant Christian. And this is that Christian that goes to church every week. You hear the word of God. You hear the sermons. People are trying to tell you about yourself, but your heart is so hard and you refuse to change just like that road that the seeds are falling on there is just there's no soil there's nothing underneath it it's so hard that the seed cannot penetrate through the ground you're saying you know what this is the way I am this is the way I'm gonna be and like it or not and in the same way it is with some Christians right they are just refusing to change no matter how many ways people to try to bring things to their attention the pastors their friends their co-workers their girlfriends or boyfriends or whatnot and they refuse to change. The first type of Christian is a stagnant Christian. The second type of Christian is what I'm calling an unstable Christian. Notice here in verse 20, Jesus describes this type of Christian. It says in verse 20, the one on whom seed was sown on the rocky places, this is the man who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no firm root in himself, but is only temporary. And when affliction or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he falls away. So this is that type of Christian that gets saved. They have a conversion experience and they really do love the Lord. And so they go out, they're excited. Notice it says it immediately sprung up. So this talks about how quickly someone gets excited about the things of God. They may go out and get a study Bible. They may ha start hanging out with Christian friends, listening to Christian music, but because they have no real deep root and they've never progressed and graduated beyond the surface level understanding of what it really means to be a Christian, when the difficult times come, when hardship comes, when sickness comes, when they lose a job or lose a loved one, or they break up with someone, or someone breaks up with you, or they get a divorce, or they have a wayward child, and the bottom drops out of their life, they are done with Christianity, they're done with church, they'll say, you know what, this does not work, I'm out of here. This is what Jesus is describing as an unstable Christian. The third type of Christian is what I'm calling the distracted Christian. Notice what Jesus says here in verse 7. Others fell among the thorns and the thorns came up and choked them out. Now later on in this chapter, Jesus explains exactly what this means. It says here in verse 22, and the one on whom seed was sown among the thorns, this is the man who hears the word and the worry of the world and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word and it becomes un fruitful. So this is that Christian that genuinely in your heart, you really do love Jesus Christ, right? But there's this other thing in your life that just continues to distract you. Jesus describes this as the worries of this world, the cares of this world. So he says, hey, maybe there's some things in your life that you're worried about. You, you, you feel like you don't have enough of this. You feel like you need to get married. You feel like you need to have children. You need to get a better job. You need to have a better education. And so as a result, all of these things are distracting you from doing the things that God wants you to do. And 
And then he goes on further and he says, the deceitfulness of wealth. I love that word deceitfulness. In other words, wealth oftentimes promises happiness and you spend so much time chasing after this wealth only to get it and realize that you're not happy. He says, these are the things that are distracting believers from fulfilling their purpose, using their gifts and their talents for God and doing the very thing that God has called them to do. And then the last Christian that Jesus describes is what I'm calling a fruitful Christian. Notice what it says here. And others fell on the good soil and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some 60, and some 30. He who has ears, let him hear. So notice there are different levels of fruitfulness, some 30, some 60, 100, but the point is this, they're producing some fruit in their lives, even if it is at a different level. And so this is that Christian that is actively sharing your faith. You're living out your life of purpose. You're doing the very things that God has called you to do. You know what your spiritual gifts are. You're living a life of integrity, not perfection, but you are progressing. You're growing in your knowledge of God and his word. You're growing in your experiential knowledge of God. Your faith is increasing day by day. This is the type of Christian that God wants us to be. He wants us to produce fruit in our lives, not be an unstable, distracted, or stagnant Christian. So once again, I want to challenge you to be really honest with yourself today. Which one of these four best describes where you are right now? Are you stagnant? Are you not growing? Is your heart hard? refusing to change? Are you unstable? Meaning when things are great, you love Jesus, but when things are not, you're ready to turn away. And then thirdly, is there something in your life right now that is distracting you from fulfilling the purpose that God has in your life? Or are you that fruitful Christian where you and those around you can see tangible fruit in your life? If you found this video helpful in any way, feel free to share it with a friend. Also, if you haven't done so already, I would love it.